Hey Sag, uh, welcome to your reading. Uh, this should resonate for sun, moon, or rising. Um, those of you that are cross-watching, it could be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. Um, with that being said, let's just keep it short and sweet and hop right into the reading. All right. What is the current energy for Sag right now? Current energy for love and romance for Sag. Current energy for Sag. Okay. Ace of Swords. Like it. What is Sag's... Um, what is Sag's person of interest or partner's uh, energy right now with love and romance? What is their current energy for love and romance, their person of interest or partner? Okay, Nine of Swords. Some of you may be dealing with um, a Gemini or somebody that has a Mars in Gemini. How does Sag feel about this person? How does Sag feel about their personal interests? Okay, so this is interesting. So you have the Tower with the Hierophant. Very interesting for your feelings on them. I'm going to put these just like that. Woo! Holy hell, Hannah. What the hell just happened? All right, let, let's, let's, let me try to get my life back together. Okay, what is the situation with Sag and their person of interest for Tony? What's Sag's, okay, death, possibly dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, uh, Taurus is definitely in here. Sometimes I feel like the Nine of Swords is also Virgo. Um, and let's look at the outcome. What's the best potential outcome for Sag and their partner? With love and romance. You know, true love. Okay, I like this. So, here's what I'm going to say. First of all, uh, for some of you guys, I feel like there may be, and this is only for some of you guys, okay? I feel like um, religion or there's some type of difference for some of you guys, that's hard. It's like a difference in belief, difference in religion. And um, that for some reason is coming in. I don't know. It's, it's like there's something very different about you and them that ultimately causes, I feel like almost like a holdup. Um, one more card here for the outcome for Sag. One more card here for the love and romance. Okay, Magician, some of you, like I said, Virgo, um, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, possibly Capricorn as well because the devil wanted to come out. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So it's kind of interesting because I feel like for you right now, for some of you, you do have multiple options, okay? That's the first thing. Um, and I do feel like this can either be a third party situation or it's just somebody has options that's that's what I feel also too I feel like there's a strong uh sexual chemistry or connection between you and um this person all right why is the ace of swords here for the energy with the lovers okay there's Gemini somebody may be vocalizing or somebody may be coming out and saying hey you know, I really like you. I'm in love with you. Like the energy for the month is being clear about who you want, being clear with who you want to move forward with. Clearly here with all these major arcana. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously this is going to be a very big month for you guys. Um, how would Sag feel about this energy for love and romance going in? How would Sag feel about this? How would Sag feel about this? The Empress. Okay. There's Libra and Taurus. I feel like for you, um, honestly, this is a time where you can sit back and watch how, watch what people do, right? I think for you, it's always like, for some reason, like you guys are always having to take that level of action. And for whatever reason right now, they're, the energy is somebody is confessing that they love you or they're confessing very deep emotions um, towards you. 
and it can be more than one person, definitely. Coming out the woodworks, possibly because of the coronavirus, or like, let me express my love just in case. Um, what's the overall message here for energy, for love and romance, for sad and for Yes. Okay. Here's judgment. Some of you also can be dealing with a Libra. I always see it like that or a Capricorn. Um, I do feel like there's something that's, that you may see from the past or somebody may say something that makes you stand up and say, holy shit, right? It's like something is finally coming to fruition for those of you guys that have done the right thing and done the work. It looks like um, this is something very good coming towards you, something that you've wanting, something that you've been hoping for, um, possible engagement or just really settling down and digging your heels in with what you want. And I feel like this person is going to give you whatever you want because obviously um, there is some type of, you know, some type of confession here. So that's the first thing. Now, your partner's energy is a nine of swords. This person is in their head, obviously, right? This is Gemini energy, Mars and Gemini. Like this person, um, it's like all they're doing is thinking. This person definitely can be thinking um, about you. They definitely can be thinking about the current situation. However, right now they're very scattered, very unfocused. And also I feel like this person um, may get angry or fired up very quickly and use their words as like, like this person is very good with words. So when they want to cut, they can cut with whatever they're saying. I also feel like this person is very nervous. Like there's a level of nervous energy here. They may not be sleeping well or being stuck up at night. Why, what, what are they worried about with this nine of swords? What is, why is this your partner's energy? Wow. With the knight of swords reverse and the 10 of swords. Okay. Gemini, um, but it can be any of the air signs, Aquarius or uh, Libra, but I always read this as Gemini. And then you also have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so somebody may not be talking here, and that's why this person is upset, waiting. Um, it also can be too, like maybe there's a level of distance. Maybe this person wants to talk more, but they're incapable of it. It's and I feel like this person may know that, that you do have other options. I, I do feel that strongly. Or, or it's like they're trying to know everything or a little bit of everything. And I feel like this person, because they're in this space where they're very frazzled, it's like they're not relying on their heart to like feel things out. They're definitely in a space where um, they're going off of facts very detached or they feel like you've detached something's here about being detached or you know ignoring whatever's going on why is the knight of swords reversed here for their partner's energy okay four cups reversed so that's cancer or moon in cancer i should say now with that reversed um you know, somebody can be getting over some type of hurt, right? Um, that definitely can be it, especially with the with the four of cups. This person's um, no longer attached or no longer attached to what they thought they wanted. Yeah. What are they finally over? Why, why is the four of cups reversed, please? Mm. okay the world six of swords ten of pentacles um aquarius virgo energy i feel like this person okay so the whole theme of this this month is communication right is a level of communication your partner right now is stuck in a nine of swords ten of swords Knight of Swords reversed. I feel like this person doesn't know what to say, but for whatever reason, I feel like that changes maybe mid-month or later in the month because that Four of Swords or that Four of Cups is reversed because of the world, Six of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles. 
Now, anytime I see the world, yeah, that's definitely a conclusion or an ending. So maybe this person is no longer holding on to something. But I also view the world as um, communication. Like some type of communication is being received here. Okay, here's the Six of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it's it's you and them talking. Like, how do we... How do we make how do we make this work, right? We've tried for this long, it's clearly not working, and obviously, you know, we need to figure out a way to make things right, right? It's also too, I feel like this person, um, it's either you or this person is is contradicting like yourself. Like one person is, person is saying, I don't want a relationship, I'm not ready for a relationship, but then the other person is like, okay, fine. And then that person you know, wants to be over at your house all the time, right? It's like they want that relationship, but they're not vocalizing it or they're contradicting their, themselves. And I feel like for this per person, it's important, maybe it's you or them to give an idea, like what would this look like, right? That's coming in very strongly, especially with that 10 of pentacles, which I think is fantastic, right? It's like you and this person doing something completely like out of the ordinary, working out the terms or working out, you know, the details of your relationship, how you're going to move forward, what are you leaving in the past and moving towards something really beautiful here, especially with the Ten of, uh, the ten of Pentacles. Okay. And I feel like somebody's communicated, hey, I don't like when things with you and I are not on the right page. I, I don't do well, you know. I'm upset when things with us are not in order. I feel like, you know, it's about doing the right thing. But I also feel like in order to do the right thing, somebody had to get out of their head and think outside of the box. But I feel like another thing I want to say is I think communication between you and your partner may be a little bit different in, in expressing what you want, right? That's what I think. They, they have a hard time communicating. And I think that you both have different communication styles where somebody's more detailed and the other one is just kind of like free flowing. So I feel like for whatever reason, this person is, is coming out of this nine of swords and it's a process for them to have the ability to think there is some type of ending with whatever they're heard about mentally because this person is in their head about you. Okay. Um, and then there is some type of ending or some type of conclusion when you guys um, have a conversation with one another and really lay out exactly what you want. And I feel like it's a new start. I also feel like for you, Sag, it's something that makes you feel good. It's like what you've hoped for. Okay. So how do you feel about them, the higher fit with the tower? It's like this person feels good, right? They feel right. However, it's like the right thing to do is possibly for you to let it go or the right thing to do is do something very shocking, whether that's not communicating or something here. Let me ask, why is the Hierophant here with the tower for how Sag feels about their person of interest? With the Page of Wands. It's almost too, there may have been, like I said, some type of confession, okay, that shocked the hell out of them or out of you. And these are together because it's creating a new start. And it can be you, Sag, on a new journey. Um, what's the energy of the tower? Okay, five of wands. There was some type of argument. Somebody was going back and forth. Five of Wands, that's definitely um, Saturn and Leo. There's a level of ego here too. It, it, somebody's being very controlled or cautious. Like I said, I think that there's a level of difference, but there also is ego that comes into play. Somebody may make more money than the other person. What causes, what caused this tower moment? What caused this tower moment between, uh, for how Sag feels about this person? Nine of Cups. There's Pisces. Um, for 
for some of you guys that have kids, I feel like the Nine of Cups, that's Pisces and Jupiter, they have, um, who, this could be you or your partner, um, a strong belief in a higher power. That, that's what I'm getting. And I feel like somebody here is definitely more compassionate than the other person, which is ultimately what caused this Five of Wands. This can also be, too, somebody, you know, um, cutting somebody out. This can also be what's causing a tower moment, Nine of Cups. This can be an addiction. This can be alcohol. This can be, um, you know, a multitude of things. How does, how does Sag feel about the Nine of Cups with the tower and the Hierophant? How, how, how does Sag feel about this? The Hermit. You may just want to shut that chapter. It's like you saw something about this person or something was seen and it's like, mom, no, I, I can't deal with this right now. I also think too, the five of wands for the energy, that can be multiple people, whether in your business, whether it's a mom, a friend, an ex, um, or just a brand new person in general. I think that for you or this person, um, especially with the page of wands here, somebody wants more of just like a sexual relationship and maybe not so much one that is locked down or that's how it's coming out but i do feel like there's a level of ego here with with this person possibly yeah that's what i'm getting all right the situation is death so clearly something is ending like i said here something something is ending okay um the situation can also be because anytime I see any Scorpio energy, it's definitely for me that represents like the coronavirus because anytime I pull, that's the energy that comes up with it. Um, but with death here, there's definitely some type of transformation. What's being transformed or, or, or what's, what's the energy of death? Let's just ask that for the situation for these two. Eight of Wands. I feel like um, there's going to be a lack of communication. There, there you are right now, Sag. That's that's you all the way. Eight of Wands, that's, um, what is that? Sag and Mercury. I feel like what's ending is, is you really pushing this situation. I feel like you're, um, you're no longer going to, you know, communicate in an optimistic way. Like, I feel like for you, it's like you're no longer um waiting for this person to m make a decision to expand with you or to date you i also feel like you're no longer like there's something here about not being optimistic about the situation am i right king of pentacles let me ask one more time why is it, oh, uh, what's being communicated with the Eight of Wands? Because that's the energy of death. Okay, Knight of Cups. This could be a whole new situation. Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio. It also can be Gemini. What is, what is death ending? What's ending here with death? The star reversed. There's a level of hope that's missing, or this can actually be literally an ending with an Aquarius. Possibly one um, that's made you wait. It also can be an ending, right? To hoping something is a very, like, very specific way. But it's also, I feel like meeting new people, traveling, which we're not traveling right now, but I feel like it's, it's communication, whether it's, uh, online through, you know, certain social media apps. It's like, there's a level of space here. I feel like between you and your partner. What is it? Why is it Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups is here because of the... Six of Wands. Okay, there's Leo. I definitely feel like something's being left behind. So either you and your partner have a conversation about whatever is going on and 
you know, whatever was said may have been very harsh. That put this person in the Ten of Swords, uh, Six of Swords type of energy. And this also may be a conclusion to this Ten of Pentacles where they thought everything was great and now it's not. Or this is making them think about ending another relationship that they're in if they are married. Or in some type of commitment besides with you. But I feel like this is a very single card. And this is you, I feel like, or somebody feeling very confident. Moving forward with like a level of confidence, right? How would Sag feel about this? Feel about the current situation? Three of Cups. There you are. Okay, there's Mercury and Cancer, which makes sense. Because remember over here, it was like the Four of Cups reversed. I don't know where the hell that is somewhere over here. But that makes sense to me. Because how you feel is like, okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go out and I'm going to have fun. Or I'm going to have fun talking to whoever I want. Or I'm not even going to pay attention to romance right now. I'm just going to focus on me and my friends and building a relationship or a friendship. Or this also can be for some of you guys, you working on a friendship first with this person and building in that sense so that it leads to something else. Also, too, with the energy being the Ace of Swords with the Lovers and the Empress, there may have been some type of knowledge about a commitment that somebody had that recently came out with judgment. I would say I feel about this. Yeah, and it may be that you saw something about this person in another commitment or you saw something and it had to do with something that this person or you or this person was doing that recently came out. Possibly dealing with a mother of a child or a mother or father, right, Empress? And I feel like there's a level of judgment here and now you're just sitting there waiting. Yeah. Or there's somebody here that feels like they're pissed off. So that's what I'm getting. And if you look, the Eight of Wands is going this way. It's going towards the future. It's leaving this behind. Here's what's interesting. For your outcome, you have true love with the magician. So this can be a brand new person coming in, or this can be this person over here getting their head out of their ass, or vice versa, you or them. A uh, magician definitely, like I said, Gemini, Virgo, uh, Scorpio or Aries. And with that being said, Sag, um, I wish you the best and I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. Peace.